Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new to my channel. My name is Carla and on this channel I share videos on fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. If you enjoy these kinds of videos then please subscribe down below. So today I am going to be showing you guys this foundation. I'm going to wear it over time and then I'm going to review this foundation with you guys. So keep watching. The foundation that I'm going to be sharing with you guys, um, like how it looks on my face, is the Dior Backstage Face and Body Foundation. I recently did a Do My Makeup With Me video where um, I picked up, or I tried, I sampled the Dior something glow um, foundation. That one was actually in my Sephora like the Sephora in my area. Um, I wanted to try the Dior Backstage. This one they do not have in my area, so I had to order it online. Um, the two colors that I got was 6N and 6.5 or 6.5N. Let's see if it'll focus. This is how it looks. Um, I'm not saying I don't like the other foundation. I'll probably end up getting it, but probably in a lighter color. It's weird, like... It looked okay on camera, but in person, after time, it, uh, it almost had like a orangey color, but I don't know if it's because it was too dark. So, yeah, I decided to get these. Uh, let's see. I almost want to start with the 6... Which one is this? This is the 6N for neutral. Um, and this one is the 6.5. Neutral um, color. Let's see, I almost, I'm holding it up here. I feel like this color is gonna fit me better. This almost feels too dark. Um, and then they say like match it to your neck. I don't usually bring my foundation down to my neck. I probably should, but I don't. Um, so I'm that person that probably has a mask like looking foundation because I don't bring it down but I don't feel like I feel like for the most part my foundations match it match my neck so I don't have I don't feel like it looks like a mask but I think this is we'll see I'm gonna start with the six N, and what how I think I'm gonna do this is I think I'm gonna so for primer um I'm actually just gonna use my Fenty Skin Fat Water. I don't have much left. Um, I have a few of these, so it's all right. I'm just gonna finish this one up. How I think I'm gonna do this is, I think I am going to, I have a few videos to film. Um, like, I'm gonna do videos and reels. So I think what I am going to do is, um, do my foundation on here. I don't know if I'm going to do a full face. I don't think I'm going to do a full face on here. I'm going to do my foundation on here. I love this fat water. Um, I'm going to go film my videos. And then I'll show you guys how it looks like over time once I've worn it. I'm just going to shake this up a little bit. Um, yeah, this is the six that I'm gonna start off with, probably just do like two and a half drops. Yeah, let's do two and a half drops. Let's see how this goes. I'm gonna come up a little bit closer. Hmm. So it's very like, I don't know. It's like sheer. Like it's very sheer. This bottle was $30. Like I feel like I did a couple drops, but I need a, a bunch of foundation. Like this is how much I went with. I'm not sure, maybe I could have, maybe I just needed to shake it up a little more. Not sure. Huh, this might actually be a little too dark. 
and this is the six i might actually need i'm not then i'll not i won't try the six and a half because this actually seems a little i don't know let me just let it settle a little before i start saying anything based on the amount that i used though i might end up going through this bottle i don't know like this is like it's pretty sheer i'm not let me see like i don't know how i feel about this foundation hmm Is this a fail video? Oof. Do not tell me this is a fail video. Like, do you guys see my dark spots? I don't know. I feel like I need to work with this a little bit. It's definitely too dark though. So if I do decide to go with this foundation, I'm gonna need a different color for sure. Let me see, I'm gonna work with this a little bit. I'll come back cause I think I'm gonna need like, hopefully not the whole bottle cause this <laughs> is sheer. So I decided to go back and I just put one drop and I was gonna continue with my makeup and then come back. But as I was doing my concealer, like, this foundation is actually like it's it's so good it's so good yes it yes it's a little sheer but this foundation like so far i'm shocked honestly like i'm so shocked i know i said i was gonna come back but Guys, this foundation, like what is all I can say, honestly. Ugh. I'm gonna finish this on here, but I will come back. I just had to like, I'm shocked. And I'll probably keep this color. Like as I was putting it on, I was like, you know what? In the summer, I love tanning tanning I love um, getting going out in the Sun and you know getting a little bit darker not even a little I don't care how much darker I get I just love getting darker um, so it's good that I go like a little bit darker with my foundation so that I can use it in the winter as well as in the summer because then in the winter all I need to do is conceal a little bit more and the foundation with it being darker will probably just look like contour um, so I'm okay with that and then obviously in the summer it'll be better but yes I wanted to come on here and show you guys really quickly how like insane this foundation looks like in the beginning it was sheer but now Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'll be back okay so I just wanted to do my lip on here just to share with you guys the lip combo so as far as lip I'm using the ooh, what brand is this Oof. a 13 brown um, it's I don't know if someone knows this brand I'm not sure but it's the auto lip liner I probably got it on like fashion over or something like that um but it's a brown and just gonna line my lips and remember that I did prime my lips not prime but like I had some gloss on my lips so with the gloss sorry it makes it so much easier to apply lip liner it almost just glides on um this is old most of my lippies are old um 
I don't know if they're still available, but I'll see. So this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Pure Hollywood Liquid Lipstick, which, you know, has like that mauve pink undertone. Um, let's try this. And a little goes, do you see this? A little goes a long way. Like, all I do is this. And I'm not gonna put any more, cause you guys see how this looks, but I am gonna fix it up. So, I'm just kinda like spreading it a little. Sometimes I'll use my finger, but I probably could because I can so that's how we're looking right now I'm gonna give you a little bit more lighting um and then I'm gonna go back with my lip liner this is like a whole step it's like it's not one of my easy quick lips so I'm gonna go back in with the brown, fix it up a little. The lips is giving ash, powdery, mm-mm, no, no. We will be fixing this. And usually I'm able to fix it, but of course because I'm making a video, my lips wanna act up. Sir? kind of took off a little bit here uh, okay some of my Fenty Beauty Fenty Glow gloss balm um, and we're gonna go with the 90s lip dark lip and glass balm I'm gonna push back a little so you guys can kind of see like what we got here um yeah this is the foundation this is how it ended up looking I do like it I will say that like I almost feel like the camera with the last one that I did I feel like the camera was making me look like good but it was dark in person however with this one it looks good in person however the camera is picking up like a little bit darker but it's really not like it looks good I should probably take this off show off my braids a little bit this is what we got yeah your girl got her hair done but yeah this is my makeup for today like I said I'm gonna come back I'm gonna show you guys like how the foundation holds like how I felt about it in videos and other like with other lighting other cameras um, because like I said with this one I just feel like I don't know maybe it's me is it me no I feel like it's the camera um, either way I will be back and I'll show you guys oh by the way this is my coffee um, Starbucks blonde roast and I missed I mixed my creamers today I have the Starbucks cinnamon dolce creamer as well as the coffee cake oat milk creamer if anyone cares that's what I have um but yeah I'll be back I'm gonna go film some videos and I shall see I shall see you guys soon Okay, so I'm back. I've filmed a few videos um, and I also did a couple reels and I'm back. And this is my foundation. I changed my lip, as you can see. So what I did was I just, I took everything off and then I just relined with a different liner. Um, it's the NYX. I don't remember I'll link it in the description box down below and then I took a little bit of the Anastasia liquid lipstick like two dots I put one here and one here and then I just did this 
you can kind of see and it almost blended but I love how it looks and I love this foundation I will say it's a little dark so the camera was picking it up before I could actually see it but once I turned the lights off it's a little dark but I love this foundation and I'm gonna keep this color like I am going to keep this color because I just feel like for the summer it's gonna be perfect um, for the winter it is a little dark but as you can see I'm just gonna use it as a the darker part will be my contour um, or my bronzer and then I'll just highlight like I did here I'll highlight a little lighter here I'll highlight more in my t-zone um, just so that the darker foundation kind of looks like a concealer but not a concealer a contour but I really like I really really like this foundation it doesn't even feel like I have foundation on like I know I have makeup on because I changed my top and I had to be careful but it doesn't feel like I have foundation on and it just makes my skin looks it, it makes my skin look good like I feel like it's natural and I'm not sure if that's why it's called face and body because it's meant to look sheer and natural that's why I almost had to layer it a little bit it's definitely buildable but guys like look at this I'm coming up pretty close like do you see that and I have, and you can kind of hear it. I have two dark spots right here, and it looks good. Like, I really like it. You can see it's kind of, I haven't, I probably should have, what do you call that, pat the oils out, but I didn't. And it's okay because it still looks good. Do you see that? Like, it looks. I really like it I know this is a, a bit um, pronounced but it's okay because when I step back see how good that looks like it just I go like this and you can see the contour I cannot tell you guys how much I love this foundation like I don't even know what to call this video should I call it a foundation review I don't know we'll see what I come up with but I want you guys to know that it's really really good so if you're looking for a new foundation that's not heavy it's sheer it's good um, then I would say try the Dior face and body for me it was not in my store but if you have it in your store I would suggest that you get a sample um, because I did go a little dark if your skin tone is like mine probably don't get the six get like a five and a half I probably should I'll probably try the five five or a five I remember when I first saw people with it in the reviews I was like there's no way you're wearing that color like and it, it blended very well with them it's not because how it looked on their face it was the number I was like what a four like four fives and five and a half and now I'm like oh yeah I can see that like I could have used like what's throwing you off and it looks okay is that I have the foundation here I mean the concealer here so it's matching my neck but this is the actual color of the foundation like it's it's dark it's dark I could have gone with like you see that that's the foundation this is not the foundation this is the foundation um so I could have I could probably go for a five to be honest so I'll probably order like a five five and a half but the color is not like what I need to show you guys I just wanted you guys to know that the foundation is so good like I don't feel anything I don't I like it I really really like it if you found this video helpful if you enjoyed this video if you have questions anything like that first like the video if you enjoyed it and if you have any questions let me know in the comment section down below remember to be kind to yourself and be kind to others love yourself and love others as well see you in the next video oh follow me on instagram and tiktok carla.simon19 see you in the next video guys